Hey, what's up there guys? Corey with Gotta Be Mobile, and today what we wanted to do real quick is show you how to boot the Galaxy S8 or Galaxy S8 into recovery mode and download mode. Now there's two different reasons for this, and they both work kind of similar but different ways. So the first thing you want to do is go ahead and power off the phone. So push and hold the power button, turn it off, and when you're in recovery mode, you can do a couple of things. You can apply updates from ADB or from you know, an SD card, you can wipe the cache partition, you can do a couple other things. And then in download mode, you can launch and update and, and push files to your phone by using like Samsung's Odin tools or Samsung Smart Switch, which is great if your phone's struggling or it's frozen or something happened when you're trying to download custom ROMs, what have you, Odin will kind of let you flash back to the stock software and save your phone, especially if, if something's going on. So for recovery mode, um, it's changed here with the Galaxy S8 because there's no longer a physical button. So we're going to use the power button, volume up, and the Bixby button. So go ahead and turn the phone to the side, hit volume up, Bixby, and hold them both. And then push and hold the power button. So now we're holding all three. And now let go of power once you see that. And then continue holding a volume up and Bixby. And then now we can let go. And it does this system update screen. It will notice that there's no update available or no files are available and it'll kind of give you this okay there's nothing going on thing so from here there's nothing going on it recognizes it and you tap the bixby button and now we are in the recovery this is a recovery mode on the galaxy s8 galaxy s8 plus and uh, as you can see here there's a couple of different options when you launch into recovery it kind of has some stuff going on reboot the system you know, reboot to bootloader, apply updates from ADB, from the SD card, you can wipe the cache partition, you can wipe the data partition, you can also completely erase your phone, so be careful in here, because you can and will completely erase your phone. You can also do a couple of other things, but the, the main one here is to not wipe data or factory reset, but wipe the cache partition. This clears out some of those, like, remnants and leftover files, it's great when, you know, after you update it to maybe Android 7.0 Nougat, when we update to Oreo, if you do run into any issues, you might want to clear the cache partition. So use volume up and down to navigate. And I'm going to go up to reboot system now just because, oh, actually, let's go to power off. So you just go down to anything you want to select. So go down to power off and hit the power button to select. So I'm going to do that and go ahead and turn the phone off. And now I will show you how to boot into download mode. So as the instructions kind of say, the last one was power uh, volume up to boot into recovery. So to boot into download mode, it is volume down. Very easy to understand that way. Instead of this, you use power, fix beat, and volume down, but you do it all and let go of all of them at the same time. And it instantly boots into download mode. Makes that kind of hard to see. Then you hit volume up to continue. And now we're in the full on download mode on the Galaxy S8. And from here you can use Odin or any of those other things to flash files to your phone. So that's it. Very quick, very simple. Remember to boot into recovery, it's volume up. And to boot into download mode, it is volume down. But that's it. Thanks for watching, guys.